and we have stars on the channel and he's running into itsu with the first attack of the day and this is a very common base. We've just seen Stars actually triple a variant of this that TDH was running on one of his other accounts. Let's see if he can t take down this variant though. And let's see if his Blizz is different. Nope, doing the exact, oh my word. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, no, you can't do that. Oh, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. This, what? Holy moly. Oh, goodbye base. Goodbye. <laughs> That's one of the coolest things I have ever seen. I have thought many times about using a um, stone slammer with my blizzard attacks, but have I ever done it? No. Queen targets the headhunter first and we're chilling. The super minions are dead. Oh my word. That's so cool. I I thought he was just going to use the stone slammer to take down that building and then pop it and maybe the super wizard would go through the wall break. But why do that when you can just pop it inside the wall and there is no, no one is baiting that blizzard. Because no one does that. But that's why this is, this that is why Stars is the number one Blizzard Lalo player in the world, aside from maybe Rakiras, who's got one account higher, which is his only one. But yeah, Stars is absolutely insane. He is bringing a Ice Golem with the Sueys on this, which is interesting to note. You don't see many other people bring it, but clearly it's getting allowing him to get more value with his Sui. I mean, that Blizzard has just made this attack so much easier because now we're kind of going to see the Royal Champ feed into the Lalo. And expect probably an early Warden pop here. Surely. Or is he just swagging it? No. We are going to use our Warden. Because we need the Headhunters to come in and get the enemy Queen. Who has locked onto our Warden? She dies. That Hound is tanking beautifully. We've got Freezers for days. This is crushed. How cool is that? We have seen... Wardened blizzards go across the base on those teaser bases. We have seen so many things on this channel. Rakira's doing insane um, invis for his queen to get the town all on anti twos. I think that is the smartest thing though I have ever seen. A stone slammer to go behind the town hall and take them out from the inside and Stars reaps the benefit of that with 40 cups. Stars live again here. Coming in on this Ooh, this is a new style of base here. This is like a box base, but slightly edited. Kind of interested to see what Stars does. So he's just going to go for the safe Blizzard. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to get the Town Hall. I don't think he wanted to use another Invis, but the Super Wiz didn't target the Town Hall quick enough. And he's not going to bother using another one. Why bother? And we get the whole CC up. Perfect. Okay. Two core singles on this base. That's really nice for stars here. He'll be able to overwhelm that. It's just going to be about this bottom section here. Sorry, you can't see the queen. But it's going to be all about this enemy queen, RC, multi, and eagle. Um, hmm. This is actually a very interesting base. This is his base. I can't answer that. Anyway, Queen on the top side. We're at the two minute mark, but that's kind of fine to be starting the Sui. Thankfully, these are air bows, and as you can tell, they're not going to put a pounding on our Queen. Um, she set a great funnel, and what we're going to do, King, we're going to wall break the junction. Expect the baby drag. Yep, nice baby drag with the ice golem, slightly delayed, um, but it's, it's always going to tank when it comes to a Sui uh, when we've got the Queen coming in right behind. Now, where's the champ going to come from? Okay, we're gonna send Champ. Her job will probably be to get these, um, to get these Expos, which are t pretty toxic to Lalo, but more importantly, these two Sweepers, which will allow us to Lalo into that Eagle that I talked about being so toxic. I'm just completely wrong, but I, I accept being wrong. <laughs> I mean, he's just gonna Lalo the other side. Queen's still got her ability. She's gonna get a lot of value, but it's all about this Lalo here. We pop the Royal Champion. Will he freeze? Yeah, he's trying to keep her alive because, I mean, it makes the Lalo's pathing so much more simple if they don't have to take out the gut of the base. 
RC is not going to get the single though, all those skellies there holding her back. We've still got the Warden ability, there it goes. You have to save the Warden ability on this base for the back end, because as you can tell, it's a pretty toxic back end. Headhunters are doing their best. Uh oh. Or oh, the Queen targeted the Owl, but it, you know the Queen's targeting our Warden next. Can we take down this Queen? I mean, I, I don't think it matters. Loons simply have to get this clan castle. All we need is the minions to either none of them go for the queen or all of them. The haste spell. Oh, the splash damage. Wait, what's going on? Ah! We should get it. Holy moly, that was close. That was so close. I cannot believe how... How ridiculously close that was to failing, but he literally cannot fail. It is not possible. Stars live again here. I'm so sorry we missed the start of this. Yet again, Clash of Clans, fix your game. But pretty obvious that's what's happened so far, thankfully. Um, as you can tell, just landing a blizzard in this compartment. Oh my word. He He's actually pretty lucky he didn't activate the town hall here, but I really like this blizzard. Probably would have uh, seen a Hound come to the air defense that's sitting right here. Just land a Blizzard in this compartment uh, where there is a Tesla farm as well. I don't know if he knew the Tesla farm was there or not, but that's just, that's epic value. Plus, with the Tesla farm, there's just less likely to be giant bombs. Whereas, I wonder if there's giant bombs in this layer over here. I certainly, if I was a defender, would be putting giant bombs there. So, nicely done from um, stars. Notice how we actually landed the blimp on the right side. The giant bombs are most likely if they were going to be anywhere right here because that's the obvious spot. So he's trying to avoid the bait. That's really smart play. He didn't actually pull the CC. I don't know how he managed that. Uh, he, or he just pulled some of it. He's going to get one of the... Oh, he's, both the scatter shots are down. We still haven't used our royal champ, by the way. She's probably going to come in with the Lalo here. And it's just this multi that can do anything to this attack. We have not placed our champ yet. Ah, uh, yep. There she is. Fortunately, going straight into the king, but we have the headhunters to help out. We freeze the eagle there. Perfectly timed. Our queen is still going. Getting the Teslas by the other multi. Warden ability. And this base is wrecked. That blizzard just got simply too much value, and that Sui got too much value, and it's just such a nice path for the Lalo. Stars making his Lalo super easy today, and he's coming in with another 40 cups, and swagging a lot of spells whilst doing so. So much time left. That's the most impressive thing, that he is tripling these bases quicker than some people triple bases with spam attacks like Hydra. Live again. Coming in on Ultron of Netflix and chill. As someone who's been in lockdown for a seriously long time, I do miss this. Unfortunately with that, you kind of need a female with it and that's always been the bigger issue. Anyway, we get distracted a little bit there. I did not say that live on a stream with people watching me. Let's see what Stars has in store for this base. Now normally there's two Sams by this gold storage. Oh rip. Apparently, I'm the only one that gets baited doing this blizzard. <laughs> Rip me. Okay. This is a great compartment to land a blizzard in. Queen's dead. Nice. We'd love to get, like, chains off this CC building. Perfect. Unfortunately, most of that's going to get healed back up. But we did also kill the Hound. So that's a really nice value there. But we, this core multi, like there is still a fair bit to this base. Oh, I like this. I like this. I think he's just confident. He, Cause he's got the ice, this ice golem provides him so much flexibility. He's confident that he does not need his king for the town hall. If you were doing this with just the queen and no ice golem, you would be hard pressed to, uh, you would have to use a freeze or two. But because of the Ice Golem, it just affords him to be able to just use those two, and it works nicely. And the King and the RC, because they're moving in a line and there's not a lot of flanking damage, they're just going to mow down this, and there is not a lot of base left. 
Now, what's left of the base is valuable, but it's not going to stop this, surely. The pathing through the base is nice as well. RC is still up. She just took down the eagle. She's still got her ability, by the way. Uh, the poison spell, unfortunately, kind of misses the royal champion. We do need a few splits on our loons here, though. And that, that would not be the splits we were looking for. But this is the benefit of bringing that royal champion with the Lalo. When the loons want to throw, the champion will come in and help out. We pop her, and this is pretty wrecked now. Now we finally get the splits, and... Stars tripling this pretty uh this is a pretty toxic base for Blizz Lalo, but he kind of made it look easy with the addition of the ice golem. He's got me thinking, should I bring an ice golem with my attacks? Um because he uses it so effectively, allowing him to get the three stars. And stars is live again here, coming in on this diamond base. So, let's see what stars can do. This is account number six. I can't believe that. So, diamond bases are pretty rough for Blizz Lalo, but let's see. Oh my. This guy's too smart. This guy's way too smart. That is just so simple and elegant. And he's... This guy is just not ready for this level of IQ. Star's not going to bother using another invis. He'd rather save one of it for a Sui. But, like, that's just so simple. It's a Stone Slammer with a Blizzard. And I can see some of you in chat are saying a Slizzard. Doesn't really make sense. But we'll go with it. This is the Slizzard Lalo. New attack strategy created by Stars here. I literally... We've had so many Blizz Lalo players on the channel. And none of them... Do, have ever done a slizzard. So let's see if uh, how many times he does this today. Nice start here for um, stars. The queen's going to go the right way, and let's see what he can get out of this suey. Queen going to be fighting a bit of a uh, single point damage, which is obviously not what we want. We finally reinforce our um, we reinforce our king. Use an invis because we don't really want our queen losing more health. Nice wall break. We get the junction. And then the ice golem comes in. RC. Oh, this is smart. She's going to come in and get this core multi. I did not see that coming, but that's actually really smart. I expected the RC to come in with the king and queen. But this is nice and sneaky. I'm actually worried the champ's going to be stupid, though. Ch champ, come back. Yep, yeah, perfect pop. We freeze because we really want the RC to get it, but I don't think she quite gets it. That's unfortunate, but not really his fault. He had to pop the RC ability early. Um, there, it, Look, he's taken out so much of the base, but those two gold multis are going to be problematic. So can he funnel uh, his troops into the core of the base? And what are we going to get from this Warden ability? We missed the loons on the far right, but thankfully our headhunters were tanking the scattershot, and we're just trying to envelop the base with the Lalo, attack it from all fronts. No air defenses, so that hound sitting in the core is going to be kind of nice. And I think we've got it, but I don't know. Could time be an issue here? Warden, we need you to finish off the multi. Clutch up! Warden, that's not clutching! Wait, why is the Warden... Why is the Warden not following what the hound is? The hound is like 30 troop space. The Warden normally follows. I think this is a time fail. Come on... No, he's not going to... Oh, it's so close! Loons, stop chasing! 99%! 5 seconds. I think he's just going to get it. Bam. 40 cups for stars. Why did I ever doubt him? And he gets another triple. As per usual, stars did not fail an attack on this video. Um, I'm Yet again, I'm sorry that we didn't catch all the attacks on this account. As I've said in the other stars videos, he had a 5v5 match, so we can only catch some, but tell me you weren't insanely impressed. And I mean, stars changed how I looked at Blizzard Lalo ever since we had him on the channel. I've been trying to look for those Slizzard Lalo attacks and they're pretty strong if you can pull them off. Some people have even started baiting them. That's how strong they are, because it's not just for Lalo players, you players doing Dragon Riders or uh, Hydra afterwards will find 
infinite use in that too. So let me know in the comments below, have you tried the Slizzard and has it worked out well for you? Um, if you do want to see more of Stars Attacks, he has created his own YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description below, but also you'll see it pop up at the end of this video. JJ's to Stars, this account is right up at the top of the world. This guy is absolutely insane. Um, yeah, I got no, I got nothing else I can say about him because he's just amazing. Um, thanks for jumping on the channel. If you enjoy this so sort of content, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.